This video will step you through creating your first product and option using the Add Product Wizard. Solo Server utilizes a product catalog with a two-level hierarchy. Products define the applications, services, or other items you want to license or sell, and options define any variations you offer for those products. You can access the Add Product Wizard by using the menu Configure, Products, and then choose Add Product Wizard from the Actions dropdown. To start, you will need to create a new product. For software, the product is the name of your application, and the options are the different license types for that application. We recommend creating a product for each application that should be licensed separately. Throughout the wizard, tooltips are listed for most fields to provide additional information. For example, this tooltip indicates that the description is listed in the shopping cart and customer license portal. For the option, you will first need to choose the type of product. The licensed software or application type applies when you want to issue a license entitlement to a customer. The option name can be as simple as license, or could be more descriptive like one-year license. As you proceed, the summary of current selections is updated with the most important information. You can choose to start the wizard over or go back a step if you need to make a change. On this step, you must choose the licensing client you are using for this particular application. As an example, I'll choose Instant Protection Plus 3. And then on the next step, I'll choose the type of license to be a subscription license. For a one-year license, I'll set the number of days to 365, and by enabling Reset Expiration at first activation, the one-year subscription will start when the customer first activates instead of when they purchase the license. The Summary section is dynamically updated with this information to help you confirm your selections. I'll assign two activations, which allows the customer to activate two separate computers with the same license. I'll also allow unlimited deactivations, which allows the customer to transfer the license to another computer while still enforcing the limitation of only having two licensed computers at a time. If you've activated your Solo Server account, you can upload a file and associate it to this option. Customers who have a license for this option will have access to download the file through the customer license portal after they log in. On the next step, the price value is used by Solo Server's integrated e-commerce feature. If you are not using our integrated e-commerce feature, you still need to set a price, and we recommend a value greater than zero in most cases. Finally, you must choose if the option should be enabled and visible. If there are some settings that are not finalized yet, you may want to leave it disabled or you can choose to hide the option while you perform any testing. You will be prompted to review the main settings before saving. Once saved, you can immediately create a test license to ensure the new option works as expected. All licenses are generated from an option and will be assigned a unique license ID and activation password. You can use the menu Configure Products to view all your products and options, click into a product or option, and change the settings if needed such as updating the name, description, price, or the enabled and hidden status. Many of these settings are automatically set by the wizard, and you can use the menu Help, Help for this page for details about each setting.